Hello. Can you please start by uh, introducing yourself? Tell us who you are. Uh, I'm Vincent Simon. I'm a, let's say, art book publisher working and living in Paris. And I'm running an independent art book publishing trade called Septembre Edition, which I created in 2006 after I started doing publications around 2001, 2002, when I created a queer fanzine called Gildo, which was my initiation to paper stuff with Xerox and things like that. Great. And so can you tell us about your publication? What kind of uh, material can we find in there? Okay. So, uh, when I was uh, publishing this fanzine, uh, I started working with artists and I discovered that it was something very exciting to make uh, publications with artists. That's why I created this art book publishing trade in 2006 because I wanted to work on projects which were specific projects conceived in collaboration with an artist. So I started doing monographic books and artist books. And so basically everything I published by myself since almost 10 years are books that I conceived uh, in collaboration with artists, visual artists. Okay. And um, why do you do that? What's your interest in uh, independent publishing and publishing yourself? Uh, actually, I think I'm really, I got, I, I'm interested in art and I'm especially interested in uh, editions and published art. For example, I really love postcards because I think it's something really great because you have the image, you have the message and you have the creation but it's so casual and easy to send and keep it in your bag. So I think that's the reason why I'm doing publishing. I'm not very interested in the unicity of the artwork. I'm more interested in the series and in the you know the duplication of the artwork. So that's the main reason. And why do your publication have this specific format? Oh, okay. So in 2009, I decided to create a kind of gay publication that I decided to call Gay House. Um, so because it was a time when there were many people who were inspired by that the um, Dutch so-called fanzine which is really great, but most of the people who were inspired by Bud were doing things that were supposed to be post-gay or post-identity or I don't know what, and I was thinking that's really bullshit and I want to do something that would be really outrageously gay and, and I decided to make, a, to create a magazine where I wouldn't be editor-in-chief but I would only be a publisher, so I would invite an artist to make one issue of the magazine as a kind of artist book. So that's how I decided this word format of a magazine which is um, more like an artist book since it's a very unique and specific project conceived by the artist for the magazine. Great. So we're here in Montparnasse at the Select. Can you tell us why you chose this place? Oh, I I think the first time I heard about this place, it was when I was living in Bordeaux and there was a kind of political show on French public uh, radio that was uh, happening in the Select. So I was thinking, oh, that's, that's, that's a nice name. And I think I, I like the exclusive um, dimension of that, of, that, of that name. And I know that this Basque is one of the last uh, which was not booked by a global trade, so it's still independent. And it has a very special history since there was a cat that is dead now, but it's 
it exists since the 1920s or something like that. And early on, Trotsky used to go to come here when he was living in Paris in the 1910, I guess. And Marguerite Duras was someone who were coming to this place very often. So that's a reason. Great. Thank you very much, Vincent. You're welcome.